is Taylor. We are on the south side of Chicago, Monsters of the Midway, and this is Chicago Fight Team. I grew up here on the south side, Inglewood, home of the Insanes, gang bang and all that stuff. That's why they call me handguns. I'm strictly against the bullets, but in that ring, I will bring the guns. You want to make the most out of life, and I believe that that's what I should have been doing. I was coaching high school wrestling, and I wanted to take a, I, I didn't feel like I was finished. I wanted to compete again. About four years I've been fighting, um, but it hasn't taken me long. I've been wrestling since I was 16. Didn't do that long either, but God blessed me to be a, a natural combative athlete, and um, I'm just trying to make the best of my abilities. Coming off my win in uh, Racine, Wisconsin, it was a great victory. It gave me a chance to shake off some of the ring rust against Jason Luke. Um, again, I went right back in from the Riggs fight, fighting another southpaw, which is very awkward. I don't want to see one of those anytime soon. But um, after the first round, I was able to take that deep breath I needed, get my second breath. Everything didn't feel so heavy. I felt you know, much more lighter, much more you know, comfortable. And then I just went head on and finished it. A typical training day for me, prepare for fight night. First thing is wake up in the morning about 8 a.m., feed my babies, drop them off at daycare. Second, I'm probably head up to the gym, go for a nice run, or depending on my off days, it might be elliptical or jump rope. Uh, come home, take a nap, get back up, pick up my babies, go home, feed them, feed myself. Uh, get back for my six o'clock training, stay in the gym from six till 12 a.m. Uh, we gonna be in for a gi, then I do uh, MMA, then we do boxing, then we do no gi, then we do wrestling, then I take a break, go play some basketball. Helping prepare pretty much his overall game. Uh, I know uh, Mr. Goodman is a, a striker, uh, so we're definitely working on our hands and our striking, but uh, here we work everything, and Lewis is wrestling, and his jiu-jitsu is coming along really well, so um, we're looking to take the fight wherever, wherever, standing or on the ground, doesn't matter. I'm trying my best to just uh, help him with and everything he can, like wrestling, stand-up, boxing, just trying to push him to the limit. I mean, it's really hard because he's like super athletic and everything, but I just got to try. Um, there's no more preparing. There's just uh, tuning up, twisting the screws, getting ready to stop anything that Whisper might have coming. I know he's a football guy, but uh, the history for MMA goes wrestling, MMA, not football MMA, and I'm here to keep that going. My main strength is power. Um, I'm powerful no matter where I am. I'm powerful on my feet. I'm powerful on my back. I'm powerful on top of you. Anything I do, you're going to know I did it. Even when I'm tired, I'm strong. So sometimes that, that becomes a problem carrying around so much muscle. But that's why I like to get the fights over with early, quick, and emphatic fashion. That's what the fans like. That's what I like. Makes my night easier. And that's what I'm going to do. What makes Lewis a, a better fighter from all the fighters out there, basically, he listens. He listens to what I have to tell him, like, Lou, you know, we should do this. If, the, uh, if you're in the guard, control the head, control the arm. He does it. He does it to a T. He does it, he does it perfect. Um, so he improved. He has a lot of questions. He asked me, you know, different things. What do you think about this? We talk about it. We brainstorm. So he, he's basically, he's evolving from the, from the fighter he was two years ago to now he's getting better and better. Every day he improves. What makes Lewis such a great fighter is that he's athletic and, he can, and he's not afraid to do anything. He's not afraid to try new things. Like a lot of people would just stick with wrestling, stick with boxing, but he does it all. When Lewis first came, came to us, um, he was uh, basically a wrestler. Uh, I'm glad to say that Lewis now is a mixed martial artist now. Uh, he's got good hands. His, uh, he's got knockouts with his hands and his feet. So he's no longer a wrestler. He's a true mixed martial artist. He can punch, he can submit people, and obviously he can wrestle. The changes I've seen in Lewis, basically now, he's learning, he's getting more technical. More technical, he's tied on the ground, his positioning is, is really tight, his transitions from move to move, for example, from mount to knee and stomach, is getting really smooth now. And uh, his submissions are, every day he impresses me. Yesterday he pulled that submission, I was like, happy, I had a smile and everything. So it's, you know, I feel like Frankenstein, you know, I'm creating my students, I'm creating little monsters. So uh, with Lewis, we say a big monster, you know? So uh, it makes me proud. Oh, fighting is, is the most important part of my life right now. Fighting is my entire life. It's family, God, fighting, then on, on the side, a little party, every blue moon, if my wife lets me once a month. <laughs> but fighting is the most important thing that I have going on, and um, it's the only thing. Outside of the gym, when I'm not fighting, uh, my wife don't let me do much. <laughs> No, I stay with my kids. I got my two babies, my Layla and my Leah. They're one and two, so I'm still in my diaper stages right now. 
So really, if anybody knows about that, then I'm just daddy daycare 100% over here. It's my time right now. I'm not getting any younger. I gotta make this happen. And uh, anybody's in my, in my way, I'm sorry for you, but we can be friends afterwards. So uh, Lewis is our number one guy and our main representative right now. And, uh... I'm looking for bigger and better things for Lewis. It's a big fight for Lewis because he gets, he gets to beat the Wisconsin champ and it's uh, something pretty big, you know, to, to be a champion in one state and go to another state and, and take their title, so it'd be good. The fight for Lewis, he's, he's representing all of us. It's, it means a lot to him. It means he's training his butt off to, to be the best and to, take the t and to win the title. I think this is a big fight for Lewis. I mean, if he wins this, this is where people start noticing him. He wins this tournament. The thing about Lewis is Lewis is always, you know, representing Chicago fight team, but I think when Lewis steps into the ring or in the cage, he always brings, you know, Chicago with him. You know, he's from the south side of Chicago and he always brings it, you know, the way we do in Chicago. So he's representing the whole city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. I'm sorry, I was whispering. Could you hear me? This is handgun speaking. Wake up, it's over.